What is up? I'm going to be sharing with you the 10 exercises that every rugby athlete should have in their program. Doesn't matter if you're a fly half, front row, doesn't matter. These are going to work for you and we're going to cover everything from strength, power, speed, and a little bit of conditioning because as a rugby athlete and if you're trying to play all 80 minutes, you're going to need to have all of that covered. So we're not just going to be like, here are the best strength exercises because athletes, you need it all and let's get right into it. And if you're an athlete looking for more consistent training videos to help you out, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button on this so you can stay tuned in for more future videos. All right, this first one is an Anderson neutral squat to press. So this is really great for our forwards and specifically the people in the lineouts having to lift up either a front lifter or a back lifter. Um, really that stationary position is going to be similar to how you have to explode and come on up when you are performing a lift in the line out. The goal is to drive up and be as explosive as possible. The next is a close grip bench press and I think too many athletes sleep on the close grip bench press. A neutral grip bench press is also another great variation because this is going to be similar to how you are going to be engaging whether it's in a tackle or pressing someone off of you. If you're an athlete, you know that inside hands always win. So if you can develop the strength in the chest and in the triceps at a more narrow position, it's going to lend well to your overall performance when you have to use that upper body strength. Next is the Hatfield reverse lunge. I really love Hatfield variations and specifically the reverse lunge because you get a lot of single leg strength and power development. The added support of the bar really allows you to push some heavy weight to maximize those adaptations of strength and power that we're looking for without the risk or limiting factor of stability. Now, I still also recommend doing unstable type of training that is unilateral, but if the you're really trying to develop some strength and power in the lower body, this is one of my favorite exercises specifically for rugby players because it really lends well to acceleration and, and being able to drive through and run through tackles. Now we're gonna get into some plyometric based and power based work. I really love these 45 degree skater jumps or skater balance because you get a huge emphasis on the deceleration when you're coming onto that front leg and having to redirect back. This is going to lend well to a lot of agility and cutting that you have to do because it is a big jump and maybe mine don't look that big, but it is harder than it looks. Next is the depth to vertical jump. Now the depth to vertical jump or depth to box jump that I'm doing here is probably one of the best plyometrics for developing the stretch shorten cycle, developing the tendons and really developing those fast twitch fibers for you to be able to produce force really, really quickly. The goal of this is try to land and then jump up as high as you can. Now you can play around with the different heights of the box. The higher the box is, the slower you're gonna be off the ground and that's okay if you're trying to work a little bit more muscular power versus like you saw in the first ones where I was getting off the ground a lot quicker, that's gonna be more elastic. Now we're gonna get into probably one of my favorite if you're trying to develop some power with your passing and that is a single leg jump into a lateral scoop toss. So similar to how you're having to run and then put the brakes on and then launch the ball or pass the ball, this is gonna be a great one for you. This also takes a lot of neuromuscular coordination. So if you need to develop more coordination, these are a great exercise that can help you do that. So in the beginning, definitely don't try to jump as far, but you're really focusing on that lead plant foot and then transitioning into some lateral rotational power. Now we're gonna get into some core work, specifically for ruck support or people in the scrums. These are what I call ruck walkouts. So you just have a med ball and the whole goal is to try to keep a flat back as the entire time. So you don't want your hips lifting up too high as you do this. You're gonna just slowly walk out as far as you possibly can, keep your core tight, don't let your lower back arch. And then once you've done you know, five to 10 reps, then you're gonna go into what I call pops. And the whole goal of this is to bring the med ball up and bring it back down and to simulate as if there's someone coming in from the side or coming in to hit you and you're having to maintain that stability and position so you don't get knocked off. Now, these are some scrum ISO pushes. 
So essentially, you're going to set the bar up to where you're going to have a flat back. The, the Hatfield or safety bar definitely works best. You're pushing into the rack as hard as you possibly can. My shoes were slipping, so I had to maintain my feet pushing, but you normally would just push into the rack as hard as you come can so you can see how i lifted the rack up there which is a great example of what not to do because now i'm lifting and pushing up rather than perfectly flat now we're getting into conditioning one of my favorite drills for conditioning is the assault bike and i'll give you a cheat code do a 10 second on 50 second off 20 second on 40 second off 30 second on, 30 seconds off. I did this for the entire season last year and I got in such good shape, especially if you're an older athlete who can't really go out and run all the time just due to having too much joint stress. It's a great alternative. And now to simulate being absolutely gassed in the game after making tackles, having to get up off of the ground and then immediately get back after it. We're doing burpees into sled pushes. So anywhere from five to 10 burpees and then immediately into a sled push. And if you really want to, after the sled push, you can even add in a sprint. So if you like this video on our rugby strength and conditioning exercises, then please make sure to like, follow and subscribe and check out the Peak Performance Program where we have an entire year's worth of training for rugby athletes.